Hello everyone. Hey, thanks for joining me today on today's lunch alert. Hey, I'm a little bit behind schedule. We have our uh, marriage conference this weekend and we, we got a lot of things going on this week, but hopefully I can get all these in this week. But hey, listen, as far as today, I want to talk to you about a mainstream idea that a lot of people buy into that will really hurt your spiritual walk. And of course, we don't want to do that. We want to increase our spiritual walk, increase what God is doing in our life. And here's the idea and here's the principle. Whatever happens in my life must be the will of God. Do you know that there are a lot of people that believe that? They believe whatever happens in their life is absolutely 100% the will of God because after all, God is in charge of everything. Can I tell you that is a lie? That is a lie and I believe that the devil wants you to buy into that. I mean, listen, the truth of the matter is not everything that happens in your life is sent to you by God. Some things are sent by the enemy. Some things are sent by the enemy. For example, is sickness of God? The answer is no. So every form of sickness is not of God. Is poverty godly? No, it is not. God did not want anyone to be, he does not want anyone to be bound by poverty. That's not his goal. That's not his agenda. I mean, there's a lot of things as we look about uh, this Last several weeks, we've had a bunch of uh, tornadoes down in southern Indiana and in the, uh, in the middle part of the, the nation. Listen, a lot of people might ask, is that God? Let me just assure you, that is not God. And I believe there are a lot of things as we look about the world that we live in. We have to recognize what is God and what is not God. What is not God, we should command to line up with the word of God and rebuke what the enemy is trying to do. Jesus said, whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Whatsoever you loose on the earth is loosed in heaven. We have that power. So I want to re remind you today that not everything that happens in your life is sent to you by God. Now, let me give you some keys to winning this attitude or some keys to victory, as I would call them. Remember that, uh, that there is a devil out there. And everything that the devil does, he does it for three purposes. In John 10.10, 10, the way we got our name, Abundant Life, is from that verse. It says, I have come that you might have life and have it abundantly. But the enemy comes, the devil comes, to steal, kill, and destroy. Anything that steals from you, kills, or destroys is absolutely not of God. So let's say something steals your joy. Let me assure you that's not God. Something that kills the desires of your heart to worship God and to serve God. That's not of God. Anything that destroys things in the natural or even in the spiritual is not of God. Anything that steals, kills, and destroys, you need to rebuke by the power of God and by the blood of Jesus. And you just need to claim the blessing of God over that area. Let me just tell you another way to guard against that mentality of whatever happens in my life must be God. And that is this. Pray the word of God. It is the will of God. You might want to write that down. Pray the word of God because the word of God is the will of God. So, for example, I, uh, David said of himself, he said, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, nor their seed begging for bread. Because maybe you might feel that God has forsaken you. Maybe you feel like one day you feel all alone in life. Let me just tell you, you need to claim the word of God. Claim the promise that says, I, I have never been left or forsaken nor has my seed been begging for bread. Claim what David did. Always claim the word of God and pray the word of God, okay? Now, let me just say this. The last one, I think one of the major keys to victory is understanding that God loves you so much, he sent his son to die on the cross. But not only that, Jesus said, I love what he said in Mark uh, 10, 51. He said, what do you want me to do? I love that. Jesus asked the question, what do you want me to do? A lot of times we just need to ask God, God, I desire for you to fill me with joy, fill me with peace, fill me with love, fill me with whatever, you know, or Lord, I desire my child, you know, my son was sick the last few days. Lord, I desire for you to touch him and heal his body. And I rebuke this fever and I stand against the enemy attacking his vessel. That's how you have to do it, all right? So remember, those are some nuggets and some keys to winning in, in everyday life. And let me just assure you today that the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Jesus came that you might have life and have it abundantly, all right? Hey, God bless you. Thanks for joining me on this Lunch Alert. Add your comments down below. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow.